The newly restored West Front was a challenge to the film crew, as well as to the craftsmen who did the work. George Reha's plan was to fly the camera through the main porch like an electronic angel. His Jacob's Ladder to Heaven was an aluminium track 20 meters long. Setting it up outside the cathedral took half a day. The filming took three hours, and the result on screen was a few seconds of priceless images. They used the same techniques, playing with space and movement, in the nave. It's the only way of exploring the vastness of a Gothic cathedral. The system that was able to supply this complete control is the only one in Central Europe. The camera movements are programmed into a computer which then repeats them with pinpoint accuracy far more precisely than a human ever could. Another chapter in the story is set in the catacombs, deep underground. It's too cramped here for heavy equipment. Instead, they brought in the steady cam as they hunted the creatures of the dark. A steady cam is a camera mount harnessed to the cameraman and controlled by a gyroscope to smooth out his movements. The camera seems to hover supernaturally beside him, its gliding motion emphasizing the narrowness of the labyrinth. The loft over the cathedral is just as remote and mysterious as the passages beneath it. To get there, the team had to pass through the ceiling of the nave one day when mass was over. It was like passing the camera through the eye of a needle. The eye in this case being a narrow opening 35 meters up, normally used for hauling heavy items into the loft. Okay. 
Using computer-controlled winches, the plan was to survey the whole expanse of the building, from the floor of the nave to the top of the loft. The effect was magical, revealing the perspective of the cathedral in a way never seen before, except perhaps in the mind of its architects. For some sequences, like the flying falcons, St. Stephen's Square was simply too small. The crew moved to a military airbase near Vienna. For the slow motion shots, trained birds acted as stand-ins for the falcons in the city. Both cameramen and falconers were strapped to the roofs of cars. The idea was to get shots of the birds flying at full speed on a level with the camera. The falconer attracts his bird by swinging a lure made of feathers. The vehicles and the falcons were moving at over 50 miles per hour. For the falconers and their birds, the filming was a welcome change from their usual routine. It took just one long day to complete the scenes, which would be among the highlights of the finished film. From George Reha's studio complex, it's a few minutes to the cathedral by helicopter. The camera is mounted on a stabilized platform to iron out the vibration, keeping the aerial shots steady.